Alright, fishy folks, happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor, obliterate that subscribe button if you haven't already. Just smash the ever-living bejesus out of it. And then just gently, boop, the notification bell. Just caress it, lightly. Perhaps talk softly while you're doing it. And then, when the video is done, go ahead and check out michaelsfishroom.com for some pretty dope guppies and plecos. So, goldfish shop in Japan. All they sell are goldfish and koi. Um, and it was pretty cool. It's an outdoor store um, that's different, very different than we would have in the United States. And actually different from all the other shops that I've seen here. And I think I've done probably 10. I'll put a link somewhere up here um, to the playlist of all my Japan fish store tours. So do me a favor, go ahead and grab a beverage and a snack. I'm gonna say you should go with the, here's what you should do. You should grab some butter pretzels. They're like little waffles. I think hers makes them. And the Finlandia garlic cheese dip. And then whatever beverage you like. If you'd like a beer, certainly have a beer. If you'd like a root beer, have a root beer. I'm not gonna judge. I personally like the water, so go grab that stuff, get comfortable, and get ready for some goldfish. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I'm here in Tokyo in King Yozaka. It's a goldfish shop, and there's a cafe inside with some pretty goldfish-like stuff. So the building's kind of unusual for Japan. It's a little Tudor style, I guess, but uh, plants outside, which is normal. And uh, kind of smells like a fish shop around it, which is interesting. So let's let's take a look. If you like goldfish, this is gonna be for you. There's a couple goldfish. I'm fine. I don't have my mic with me. I traveled to this shop from my hotel and I forgot to bring it, so hopefully the sound is okay. There's another one. And there's a a gentleman doing maintenance on ponds and tanks will try to stay out of his way. There's some more. With just a, a filter in it. So it looks like we have filtration here. I don't know if I can get close enough to see what's inside it without falling in. So looks like many, 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 many gallons of water. Lots of air, and uh, I don't really know what's in there besides big duckweed. I guess that's a basket is for mechanical media, but looks pretty cool. Say hi to the tiger. Hi, tiger. Come over here and see a ginormous koi. That thing is huge. The size of my leg. Anyway, lots of different koi and goldfish. Maybe they're all koi, I don't know. I'm certainly no expert. Pretty cool benches. I guess you can sit and feed the fish or watch the fish. Yeah, this is, uh, this is all one tank, I guess. You have to call it. Very interesting. There's construction in the building next door if you hear. So there's a big pot for 120 bucks fish with a moss ball and an air stone. And there's that big big one over there. I don't know if you can see it if it's too dark. So uh, lots of little pots with fish in it. I've seen this many times here in Japan, these little pots with water plants and fish. Huh. I thought I saw a guppy in one of those, but it was a pretty cool poster. If I wasn't a goldfish, I'd probably look to buy one. Some little tanks. A little fish in there. Not so sure what it is, can't really see it. There's some goldfish. Maybe he's doing a water change. Yeah, that's my guess. 90%-ish. Some plants, charcoal it looks like. 
substrates. More plants. Oh, that's pretty clear. Over here. Some little five gallon tanks with plants in it. This is a pond for plants. See what we see. Oh, regular tanks with lots of goldfish. Rice fish? What are these, folks? Don't know. Don't know. I don't know if they have equipment here. Like, uh, filters and stuff. I always try to like to buy something if I can. Just kind of a thing, I guess. Alright, let's keep going, folks. Now there's a big one, a big filter. Okay. There's a little little tub here I don't want to trip on, that would suck for sure. There's inside too, so that's nice. Uh-oh. Man down. Man down. Six bucks for a goldfish. Right, that's just a regular goldfish. Maybe a fancy. Those are a little bit more fancy. I like my goldfish. But Chewy's got the tank now. I like Chewy more. What can I say? Alright. This is maybe grow outs. Maybe. Just to give you an idea, we're, we're outside, underneath this roof, and then there's netting here, obviously for birds, but that's kind of what it looks like. So, let's uh, take a look. Maybe, like I said, maybe grow outs, little tiny filters. Some substrate, I'm sure, just for filtration. Man, those things look creepy. Big filter in there. Yep, don't know anything about goldfish, so help me out if you need to. Certainly leave a comment. There's some more goldfish. Like I said, hopefully the sound is coming out okay. The mic is on the front of the camera. I'm talking to the back of the camera. If it's not good, I'll probably do a voiceover. Alright, what's this? I have no idea. Not goldfish though. Silverfish. Haha. <laughs> Less precious metal fish. <sighs> Oxygen for packing fish. Alright. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Alright. Looks like they do have a little retail space. And some goldfish. Come inside, take a look around. It's to the outside. Goldfish. I'm gonna say they're rice fish, but I could be wrong. Some little tanks. I think it's kind of funny because they have goldfish. So we got nets, heaters, water conditioners. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, filters, yeah. We got some filters. There's something I've never seen in a shop. A marine land bio wheel. When I say a shop, I mean a shop in Japan. All right. And of course there's goldfish food. An airline. Airline made in Japan. Too bad they don't have a big china filter. I should have bought that. I don't know why I didn't, because I'm silly. Fish food, all kinds of little tanks, shrimp tanks. All right, I think that's it. The office back there, a little goldfish, or well, that's a crayfish. Oh, that's what they are, they're little crayfish. I guess that's what the little tanks are, huh? 
That's what the little tanks are for. All right, fishy folks. I'm gonna stop it and go inside and take a look around, see if there's anything interesting there for you guys to look at. If not, hope you guys enjoy the Go Fish Tour. Don't forget to stay fishy and uh, check out michaelsfishroom.com. And uh, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe because that would really mean a lot to me. See ya. It's pretty cool. Hope you guys like it. Go Do me a favor. If I could speak right, this would be much better, but I can't. So stand by. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Today... I'm going to take you on a tour of a goldfish shop. All they sell are goldfish. Well, there might be a few other things there, but for the most part, goldfish for this place. Before I start the video, do me a favor. Just go ahead and obliterate that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you have done so, tell all your friends, hey, I'm a cool kid. I subscribe to Michael's Fish Room. And then after you subscribe, just boop, the notification, the jebe jebe jebe. I got my mustache needs to be trimmed, and I forgot my trimmer, so stand by. Buy some plecos and guppies, because that would be spectacular. So like I said, goldfish shop. Um, I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Rehearsing my head like ten times. Still, nothing.